Welcome back. We're going to do a quick one on a set of TWS, a new set from Edifier called the X3 Lite. So I think there is an X3. I don't have the X3, but this is the Lite version, so this is probably a more cost-effective, kind of slimmed down the feature set. But this is what it looks like. It's, uh, you know, kind of attractive, something that you've seen before. In-ear TWS style, plastic shells, touch controls, um, case, USB-C. I don't think there is actually a reset button. I think, again, that probably fell out in the light version. But what is it? Again, I'll, I will just say it's a traditional affordable TWS. It's about $20. And it will handle your basic sound duties on the go. Whether you're into music calls, movies, or games, it kind of does all those equally okay. Specs. Bluetooth 5.3, it has a game mode, it has environmental noise cancellation when you're on a call, and it does have app support for four presets like pop, rock, classical, and there's a fourth one that I don't remember. Six hours of play time, 18 hours if you uh, put it back in the case and charge it a couple times, and it does have a six millimeter dynamic driver. So sound wise, I think this one does have a signature is more general purpose clean and clear to handle the calls well. Again, this one has a six millimeter dynamic driver. We'll talk about that in a second. Nice base curve, but it does have a six millimeter dynamic driver and it drops fast into the mids. Less bass in ear than it looks. And we'll take a look at the graph in a second. But you have to remember that there's a big difference between looking at the graph of a 10 millimeter dynamic driver and a six millimeter. This one is, even though it looks big, it actually, in your ear, it actually comes across without as much impact as a 10 millimeter would. Um, flat mids and boosted treble. So again, you kind of get this lighter bass, flat mids, and then a boosted treble. Kind of all that leans towards kind of a more mid-centric, more neutral, bright style. And that's, I think that's what that was. This one would be. Sounds like it was tuned for games and calls while still doing um, fine for light music listening. I think that's pretty accurate as to what's going on there. So let's take a look at the graph real quick. So as I said, this one is a six millimeter dynamic driver. So it actually looks like a really big bass curve and it was going to be a big bassy set, but it's not because it's a six millimeter. So it, it probably sounds kind of more like it's here. It, it kind of comes across as just enough bass to fill in. It almost comes across as a neutral bright set because this is nice and flat. And then you have this kind of really, um, not a heavy bass boost, but that is a heavy enough bass boost that is going to you know, really stand above uh, much of your bass that's coming from the six millimeter. It's going to sound a little thinner and a little brighter. And that's going to work well, again, well for your calls, for voices, for music, it kind of sounds a little bright. But I think for games, music, podcasts, I think all those things, this one is more of a general purpose uh, tuning as opposed to one that was really designed for music. But, you know, Edifier, X3 Lite, I think that's pretty much why they put this one out. It's not necessarily a, a music one, but one that will handle all the tasks that you need to do while it's uh, in your pocket. So that's what I got. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see you next time.